Test, test, test. Hello, Sky Axe. Hello, YouTube chat. Happy Sunday. Well, let's continue our Baldur's Gate 3. Lazel Origin. Monk Honor Mode playthrough. Skull. Hey, Ryan. Merity. Anonymous. Y'all, I'm so excited for Dragon's Dogma 2. I am so excited. I was watching some more gameplay the other day. I think it's my most anticipated game for this year. We're going to start diving pretty deep into it on the channel for those of you guys that enjoy the video content here very, very soon. Hey, Aaron. Notification squad. Hey, you guys are the best. All right, let's waste no time. Let's jump right into it. Carly, Carly, hello. How are you? Are you sure the quotes don't work? Uh, try that out, Carly. Uh, <laughs> I made so many like back end changes and modifications. Do quotes still not work? Hey, Fletcher, what's up? Just so y'all know, I am live on YouTube and Twitch right now. Those of you guys that are unaware. So I am talking to both chats equally. YouTube's better. Hey Dwight. Silent Servant Johnny, what's going on? Greetings, greetings. Alright, so last session. We killed Grim. And we killed Inquisitor Wargaz. So today's session will be the start of Act 2. And I'm hoping to spend maybe three sessions in Act 2 and then maybe three or four in Act 3. And that should be it. Let me just do some quick looting here. Because I think I'm running pretty low on camp supplies. Which is usually not a good thing when you head into Act 2 because Act 2 has a lot of rotten food. So... Let's take our time and do some looting. Send that to camp. Oh yeah, we'll send that to camp, that to camp. Tolton fires well. So I was checking out a game called Unforetold Witchstone last night and a little bit this morning. It's an upcoming CRPG, heavily inspired by Larian Studios games in terms of player agency and freedom. Even more so than Larian Studios games. It just launched into early access. I'll probably do a video on it in a day or two, sometime this week, to generate a little bit of awareness. In pretty rough condition right now. Just launched into early access. A lot of bugs, a lot of things that need improvement. But I've been having a good time, and I see good potential in this game. And I hope that they're a good company and they take their early access funds and create something truly phenomenal because I see like the start it reminds me of Divinity Original Sin 1 like the start of a I mean Larian Studios started in I think the 90s before DOS 1 way before DOS 1 but it reminds me of like Divinity Original Sin 1 and I hope that the game turns out to be good so that company can then make a DOS 2 and then make like you know who knows maybe a game on BG3's quality one day probably not though <laughs> But yeah, I'll check that out a little bit more throughout this week and then maybe drop a video going over the features and everything because it's pretty cool. It's different. The statue starts how, do I, to how do I fail the athletics check? I, every time I fail the athletics check. The statue oh my god. But its rusty mechanism jams stuck. 
don't know if I've ever passed an athletics check right there. I have two high strength characters too. Gotta go get the blood of Lathander now. Um, so we could throw a grease at it now, or I can just fire bolt it. That usually works too. So let's take a Starion. How delicious. And shoot a quick fire bolt, because we are a high elf. I think this works. It used to work. <laughs> Oh, did they change that? The statue starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Oh, I hit the candle. Nice, a little on fire. The statue starts to rotate. But it's Interesting. So on my first playthrough, I think Larian must have patched this. You used to be able to just shoot a firebolt at it, and it would unstick it. Wonder what happens if you just... Oh, it does. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, well. Look what you've been hiding. Those of you guys that may not be familiar with that puzzle, you just have to face one statue to the west and one statue to the east. A little bit of puzzle of the sun Without setting and rising. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to grab the blood of Lathander. Let me just come back in this room real fast. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Action, not reaction. Oh, the quote's not working? All right. I'll talk to Shy. Maybe I, maybe I have to, like, create quotes? I don't know. I'm just... I don't even know what I'm creating. That's the problem. There's very little information online. But I've enabled it for mods. I've made Streamlabs a mod in my chat. I made it so everyone can use quotes. And I made it so moderators can edit quotes. But I still don't know what quotes are. Alright, actually, what we're going to do here, just in case, I'm going to send... Um, Madness. I'm gonna send everybody else. We'll send, let's see. We're gonna do Shadowheart and Lazel. And we're gonna bring a Starion. I, this should be fine. Just in case the game bugs out or I click on the wrong item or something happens, I wanna make sure I have a couple party members. Oh shit, hold on. Oh, damn. Damn. Damn, man. Careful, I bind. I think we're gonna have to come back through here and then kill all these Githyanki. Um one potion of invisibility. I don't think I want to fight these guys with no spell slots and half HP, even though I think I would win no problem. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Watch your back. Get a Starion out of here. I wonder if the wolves can sense somebody that's invisible. That'd be pretty cool if they reacted to that. Hey, Red, what's up? Samantha, hey, get the grease to statue? You don't, because it worked with Firebolt right there. It just took two, two attacks. What was the name of the JRPG that you mentioned? Are you talking about Dragon's Dogma 2? Not really a JRPG. I mean, it is, but it's also not... A JRPG in terms of the game style. Kind of like a JRPG mixed with a Western, probably more favor into the Western style JRPG. So I don't think I would consider, um, I don't think I'd put Dragon's Dogma 2 in the JRPG category just because it doesn't necessarily play like a JRPG, even though it technically is if you go by Japanese company that made an RPG. All right, I'm gonna put a Starion over here. Let me get him way away. Just in case things go south. I don't want a TPK here. Even though I don't think they are because I solved the puzzle. Should be fine. All right. Uh, Arlac, come back here. 
Thanks, babe. Just a brief respite. That's an inefficient path. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, uh, Unforetold Witchstone is the name of the CRPG that I was talking about. That's what you guys are talking about. Unforetold Witchstone. It's in a rough state right now. So when I, I mean that when I say it. So only people who are... I have to do more research on the game and play it a little bit more so I can put together a video. But I, I support early access for companies that I trust that are going to use those funds and put them to use and make a better game. I don't know much about Unforetold Witchstone yet, so I have to do research on that. So maybe hold off on spending your $30 until a couple more people um, make some videos going over bugs and things of that nature. I also do like a deeper dive into the company behind it. Untouched. Quite something to have escaped notice all this time. Curtis. I added like ten emojis to the Twitch chat or for Twitch followers and members. And then I thought I enabled a bunch of cool stuff, but apparently you guys are saying that I didn't. Oh, action, not reaction. Which isn't very nice of you guys. I tried my hardest. You can smash the statue too. Yeah, so I guess all you gotta do is break it. Not that I have to break this, but... Spearhead Games. Yeah, I don't know much about Spearhead, but um, after playing it for like an hour and a half, two hours, I see good potential in that game. So I'm going to check it out a little bit more. Pretty cool. Hey, Zara. Fate, hello. Yeah, I brought back the cute wolf emoji. I know some of you guys love that emoji. I found it. It was hidden in like 30 different folders on my PC. <laughs> hey, Oliver. How am I liking the open hand monk? I think it's great fun. I think the monk is probably one of my more favorite classes in the game. It just, it's a very impactful feeling class. Kind of like you guys know, I always, I always support the Tempest Cleric as one of my faves too, because lightning spells in this game are very impactful. The monk also feels that way, very satisfying to punch opponents. Let's march. Moving it. Bubs, I feel. Uh, congrats on finishing honor mode. I think that's what you wrote in the Discord, right? Am I going to do a solo run? I, I'm not saying it's out of the picture completely. After this, I think I'd like to take a break from committing to full playthroughs, and I'd like to move on to some other games for streams and content alike. Um, maybe one day I'll do a solo run. But I don't think it's going to happen right away after this. I think it'd be cool to uh, do a couple challenge runs. Although a solo run doesn't interest me as much as playing with a full party, to be honest with you. Eager for battle. Proceeding. But it's all about the challenge, right? But I need a little break from Baldur's Gate 3 playthroughs. I need a little break. I'm already feeling a little burnt out even right now, but the fact that I need to get that golden die is keeping me motivated to keep playing, so.
first overall win what do you mean brain 450 hp did 478 with four hits that's awesome how are you fate i appreciate you stopping in i'm enjoying keeping a druid around with my frost sorcerer a lot of people's honor mode runs end with these traps really <laughs> Usually if, if a room is trapped, it's usually a good idea to leave one character, at least one character behind. All right, so we should be able to go. Um, nice. Eight to 13 damage. Let's give that to. Um, give it to a star, Jan. Yeah, such a cool mace. This is one of the earlier legendary weapons that you come across in this game. I'm so happy that Larian did do like a rarity level, a tier level for different types of loot in this game. So I remember on my first and maybe even my second playthrough, like finding gear that was labeled legendary and this goldish orange color was just so exciting. Eager for battle. I didn't expect them to do rarity with uh, with items when the game first came out. Wait, am I not allowed to... I can't pour it out of here? I guess you can only pour it out when you blow the place up. Greetings, Amy's. Is there such thing as a break in BG3? I tried and failed. Powerful protections. Oh, you never finished the game on your other runs, I feel? The monks were intent on keeping their relics safe. They didn't count on us, though. I believe it. This thing looks powerful. The UI is so much better on the PC version. CRPGs can be difficult to translate over to consoles. With that said, I think Larian is probably the best company at doing that. By far. Now the game forces me to fight my way out, I guess. Which is fine. We're going to do it with three characters. Unheard, unseen. We got this guy. He's got 104 HP. You think I'm worried about him? I am not. I am not at all. Ah, not today, my gift Yankee friend. Not today. Then bleed them dry. So happy that you guys told me specifically Zyphiel about my monk passives. I didn't even notice that I gained them. Getting that extra radiant damage is just crazy. Let's go, monk. Oh, a Starion, wrong character. I feel like having a monk and a battlemaster fighter on the front lines is just it's just insane. Well, well. Absolutely insane. Whoa, where did this guy go? What's next, I wonder? Got basically no spell slots here. Kung Fu Lazel, you know it. Thank you, Amy's. Druid as tank or battlefield controller? Um, if you want to go Moon Druid, maybe more tank. And then Land Druids are probably better suited for battlefield control. See ya. Um, and honestly, I'll take the opportunity to attack. Oh, three HP. What the hell? Didn't notice that. Soldier. Give me your crossbow.
Do do do. <laughs> the crash is where I fear going the most in my honor mode run. It seems like Inquisitor Wargaz. I feel like if you go to the crash, you gotta, you should be at least level five, preferably level six if you're on honor mode, because you don't want to risk that. If you just focus down Inquisitor Wargaz with all of your characters and the best abilities that you have in rounds one and two, it's not too bad of a fight. This is late act one, Danny. Almost, we're about to be in act two here very, very shortly. Guess these wolves are not summons. Oh, what did I just do? What, what the hell was that? That was a whiff. Why is Karlak almost dead? What the hell? What the hell, man? I did honor mode on PCF, PS, PCF5, <laughs> PS5 and PC. Legit, now I'm just having fun and using mods. I think, I, I think I'm gonna do the same thing after this. I'm not gonna stop completely, but I'm taking a break from committing to full playthroughs. Might mess around with some funny mods, things of that nature. Y'all know how it is. Maybe you can use map waypoints. You can't use map waypoints when your mini map is in red. Actually, got to help out Carla. Oh my God! Wait, wait, hold on. Why? Why am I like almost dead with my entire party here? <laughs> what the hell just happened? I had no idea that I was getting my ass kicked. Jeez. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna heal Carlac. He has a better chance of staying alive through another round. And then we want to focus fire. This character is about to die. So let's see. We're gonna take him out. Oh my god. 98% chance and I missed. And it's a critical hit. I'm getting scammed right now, folks. I'm getting straight up scammed. No surrender. Question is, do I take a potion? No. We don't need no potion. See? Damn it. You like the item types in DOS 2? Just started playing DOS 2 again. Love that game so much. Action. Oh, that used up my guiding bolt. I actually probably should have resisted that opportunity attack. A lot of spell slots. What kind of bullshit is this, man? A lot of spell slots. Some billy ass bullshit. Um, yeah, my party's hurting right now. Really bad. I'm gonna go take a partial rest. Maybe clear out the rest of the Githyanki crash. Worth examining. You reached level seven at the end of the crash. Wow. I am very close to level seven. I didn't expect that.
I thought I was like six and like one quarter. Make sure nobody's in here. Okay, we're good. Still can't take a long rest. Gotta get out of this room. I did kill Grim last session, yes. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Not one false move. Should better take a long rest, I think, right here. Problem is, Astarion's not here with me. Um, Time to pack it in for the day, I think. See if it lets me. Okay, cool. Keep your distance, darling. Onward. I'm gonna do a partial rest, I think, because I want to. I don't think I have a lot of camp supplies. Who wants to speak to me? God, man, these companions are just always talking my ear off. Curious. Like I already got to deal with TARDIS on the daily, you know what I'm saying? For Christ's sake, dude, I can't even play a video game and get some peace. Okay, I don't see anybody. Let's go to bed. Hey, Henny. Partial rest. A secret that Vlacketh never wants to be revealed. These were the words of your dream figure. Not long ago, they pierced the ethereal stillness of the astral plane. Blasphemous words, looming as large in your mind as the towering figure of Vlacketh herself. What secret could be so ruinous to the undying queen of the six arms of Tunarath? Apparently, quotes still are not working, Joey. This is some Lazel origin specific dialogue here. Hmm. I don't know which way I want to take this with with Lazel. Should we be a Vlacketh supporter to the end? Even though we know that Vlacketh is wrong here. The interesting way to RP Lazel, though. Because I feel like on my other runs, I always have Lazel turn on Vlacketh, which is, of course, the correct path. If you're doing a neutral or good run. Two? Okay, we'll do two. There's no telling, but your people have turned on you. Vlacketh is afraid of being found As out. As a young warrior on Kalea, you devoted your life to your queen. You were taught that she would reward her most vicious adepts with ascension, an invitation to the imperial city of Tunarath. Wow. Now, doubt gnaws at you like a tadpole at its host. Your people seek your head, just as the dream figure warned. Whatever this secret, Vlacketh will kill her own faithful to keep it. Okay. We're not fully in the loop yet with what Vlacketh is doing. Yeah, they are tough, Oliver. They're definitely one of the tougher opponents in this game, for sure. The Gith as a whole. They got all their extra attacks, yeah, and their trip attacks and all that stuff. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's... Go kill some Gith. Please, I'll get some machine gun. I think there is a Baldur's Gate 3 gun mod. Just pretty damn funny. Oh, you don't get your short rest back. I forgot after a partial rest. Damn, this is about to be rough. Making me sweat. This is about to be rough. Blackets will be done. Repositioning. Blackets will be done. Come on, let's go. Poor Astarion's all the way back here. There we go. Now he's not. Assume nothing. One true way. We're gonna go to the trader first, see if we can get some 
some goodies here. Definitely better to come from this way, but uh, we're not going to do that. These guys hostile? Yes, they are. All right, let's start off with Lazel. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Nobody's even in the fight. Oh, come on, game. You're making me sweat. I was hoping it would knock him down. Time to strike. What's up, Pyro? Sorry, I was just hanging out. I love the sound design for the monk punches. Me too. Like I was saying earlier, it really adds to the, the, the feeling of impact behind your attacks. I feel like it's important for pretty much every game that has combat in it. There's nothing worse than a game that has low impact. You don't feel like your swings are actually hitting anything. All oh, these bastards have parry. Oh my god! Oliver wasn't kidding, actually. Holy crap! About the TPK. Just kidding, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to. They can put you down in a single turn, though. Guess I better get serious. Do, 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 do. Minimum seven. Should I put on? Let's just do it. We got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then we'll take out this guy. We're going to do disarming attack. 60% chance. I like it. Didn't work. Action surge. Great weapon master. 35. Damn. Bonus action to attack or heal, to attack or heal. The spiritual weapon goes after this. I'm gonna attack. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Oh, nice, I forgot, Never mind. Perfect, that worked out great. See ya. You gotta be kidding me. Unbelievable. It's a freaking joke, man. It's an actual joke. Oh my god. Taking position. Biatch. These guys are pissing me off up here. 22 damage? Like, what an absolute joke. You guys agree with that? Like, that's an actual joke. Let's see, we got 32, 53 HP. Let's do. It might be time. It might be time to do a little something. I prepared just for you guys. Ah, oh, Starion can't move anymore. Damn it. Shadow Heart's right there in the order of turn. She's next. I wonder who she's going to kill. We're going to find out. 55% uh, chance. 55 for that guy, too. You guys are kind of low up there. Could drop a fairy fire. That actually might not be bad. Only 55% chance, though. That would be nice. Not gonna lie. Fairy Fire would be real nice. 
wish I could get right here, you know, and then drop a... I do have potions of speed, but I'm, I'm refusing to use them. I don't want to use them for anything but bosses. Okay, let's see if this would work. Let's see. Karlak, if Karlak can survive the next round, this could be super good. Okay, all right, all right. Let's see what these guys do. All right. Luck is in my favor. Oh, whole person is already broken? Oh, I didn't realize she was next. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, this game is unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable. Heading there. It's a one out of ten game. Karlak, it's go time. It's really that simple. Dude, I'm slacking this playthrough. Like, I barely have any good healing potions. This is crazy. This is this is just crazy. All right, we're gonna let's see, 32 HP. I think I gotta focus her down. Um, or I could just get right up there. No, we're gonna come over here. Covered. We're gonna fly this guy right up here. Not enough movement speed. What? Am I getting trolled right now? Unbelievable. Oh, I keep forgetting about the damn parry. You jackass. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Looks like I can probably... How much HP do I have? I have a lot of HP with her. Wow, everybody's extremely low on my team right now. Honestly, I think I'm going to move right... No opportunity attack, so let's move right here. Try to get under those archers. Okay, alright. And this is why, folks, on an honor mode run, you should come from the high ground when you have the opportunity to. All right. This guy's got 7 HP, so let's go ahead. Let's try this. 55% chance of landing it, or I could just do this. I like it. And then we'll pick up Parlat. And move up. Really now, can't even hit anybody. These guys are, these guys are going hog wild. Can't even use cure wounds. Unbelievable. Yeah, we got to get some potions from somewhere. Some actual good potions. Not even like I'm actually trying to conserve my bad potions. Isn't that sad? That's kind of sad. Wish I could get us both in it, but I can't. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. At least put some pressure on these jabronis. Even if they kill me. to weapon for the win. Probably could have ran up there without wasting my bonus action. Too late for that. Too late for that, folks. DM Wyvern, hello. Fellow traveler. 
How are you? He's get Yankee ain't playing around. I know. Apparently they're not. I didn't expect this to be a battle where like three quarters of my party members were two HP away from wiping. That's all right, though. Not too worried about it. Virtual weapons aren't going to make it there in time. Not even worth going. Damn, I wish I had some short rests. You know, it was nice to do that on a partial rest, though. At least I didn't waste any you know, camp supplies on that encounter. Definitely not one of the easiest encounters in the game, right? Apparently. Now, this is pretty dangerous territory to be in on an honor mode. To have an entire party that has basically less than half HP. Found and taken. Because if an incident were to happen, such as the one in the past, where I walked through the Zentrum hideout with a torch in my hand without paying attention to my surroundings, the entire place blew up on me. That could be a TPK. Granted, that would be a pretty entertaining TPK. I could make a nice video out of it. But I don't want that to happen. Because I ain't got time for another honor mode run. What are these arrows? They're just regular arrows? You can just sell them? I don't think I've ever seen arrows in this game that were just normal. Pouch right here. Oh, yes, sir. Um, I forget where that leads to. Um, oh god. Should definitely take a long rest now, right? I think I have to. I'm gonna come back. I wanna see where this leads to. Aha, okay, okay. Oh yeah, this is on the bottom. Spiritual weapon round one. Initiative and attack. All other rounds. Chase target never being able to reach. Yeah, spiritual weapon. If you want to make good use out of it, does require um, very good placement, kind of like Guardian of Faith. With that said, even if you're just chasing enemies around, a lot of the times they'll spend an action attacking the spiritual weapon, which oftentimes can live for more than a few rounds, and therefore it takes damage away from your team. And since it only costs a bonus action, that can be super useful. You can basically get like two more companions on the battlefield with you. At the cost of two bonus actions if you have two clerics like I do. And that's pretty damn good. But like all summons in this game are more valuable than your average player may think. Even if it's a low HP summons. But then again, you can always cast aid on all of your summons, even the familiars, which only have one A oh, I gotta be careful here. Familiars which only have one HP. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh. Oh man, this is bad. Might have to run away from this one. I could probably win it. I have plenty of scrolls and I have potions and everything but I need to conserve those. So honestly, I think the call right here is to flee. So let's get on out of here. Let's hope I can. Then we'll come back into this room and hopefully they're not all in here. Yeah, too risky on honor mode. No sense in... 
No sense in attempting it, because I would regret it if I wiped. Necro plus aid plus Hero's Feast. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? Yeah, the fact that Hero's Feast and aid can work on all of your summons, it's just like... Crazy, powerful. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. I wonder if I even... I might have actually been far enough on my first character. I just didn't even look. I'll be okay, though. We're gonna have to leave Karlak behind. Fly, you. Oh, sorry about that, Karlak. The resi at the camp, my friend. All right, 57 feet. Let's go. Let's spill some sorry on. This way. There we go. I already made it out. No TPK, no TPK today, my friends. No TPK. Got to move. I ran from the red caps in the swamp, level three. Yeah, a lot of the content in Act One can be difficult at level three. For sure, you just take so much damage; it's insane. I'm going to come back and loot the Gith Merchant. Don't worry. I don't think I'll forget. Am I going the right way? Yeah. What's up, Shy? Uh, Shy, I was thinking about you today, and I have added the cute little wolf emoji. So please, indulge yourself. All right, Carlac's dead. Where the hell is the stupid skeleton around here? Well, let me chat with Barkus real fast. I thank you for the invitation to your camp. It's, um, well appointed, not too crowded, perfect for thinking. And I've been doing just that. What about? It's about Wolbrin. We know he's been taken to Moonrise Towers, and we know I'm going to save him. The problem is this. A preponderance of evidence that I am a terrible adventurer. I'm not sure I should trust Wolbrin's fate to... Well, me. I'm destined for Moonrise Towers. I could look for him. Hmm. You've done so much already. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again. But I can't You're starting risk to piss me recapture. off a little bit. I barely escaped last time. You'd do it then. You'd look for him. All right, I will. There's something else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. Rune powder. Do Say you what? know what it is? Uh, go on. Until very recently, I thought rune powder was a myth. A substance so powerful it could fell a city. A nation. The Iron Hand gnomes have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real. And they have hey, it Cassie, in their possession. Carol, what's up? And what do they want to do with it? Destruction. The only thing it's good for. But destruction of what? Well, I'm hoping Wilbrin will be able to tell us. I shouldn't have let him drift away. Shouldn't have let that lock get their claws into him. Now more than ever, I need to find him. We need to find him. He's the only one I might be able to speak to sensibly. Enzaville, hey. I'll find your friend, and together we'll stop the Iron Hand gnomes. I'd kiss you, but neither Whoa. of us deserve that. Thank Can't you. Can't say I ever kissed a gnome before. But at this point, why not add it to the list, right? All right, let's find Mr. Skeleton. Here he is. 
Dost thou require a new ally? Then thou must re This is the price of that. Well, ca By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from You kissed a gnome eyes. and liked it, Joey? All right. I respect it. Rise. What's up, Ian? Almost wiped the two Minotaurs at level four. Yeah, those guys can be tough with their multi attacks and all that jazz. Into the shadows. See if we can get our money back. Success, as expected. Why did it say success? And then I failed. Try it again. My the correct yeah, we're not going to pass that. The correct outcome. Quickly then. Don't want to piss off the gods, right? Alright, we'll take a long rest. I'm not going to be frugal with that anymore. Make sure that we don't TPK. Doing pretty good, Enzoville. How about yourself? What have you been up to? What have you been playing? This is all the food that I have right now. It's really not that much. Damn, man. I don't know if I trust the camp supplies auto select anymore. Let me hold on. I'm gonna auto select. I'm selecting myself. I feel like it might be taking food that it's not supposed to. You guys ever get that feeling? Because I get it all the time. This a visual bug? Yeah, I'm aware that it's a visual bug, but it freaks me out because it makes you wonder what else might be bugged. And I am running really low on camp supplies when I thought I'd been gathering it a lot more. So I'm not going to trust it. Waiting for Persona 3 Reload and Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm kind of interested in Persona 3. It's not like a style of game that I traditionally play, but people talk a a big game for the Persona series. Some people say it's their favorite gaming franchise of all time. Maybe I should check it out. There is work to do. Enough waiting. I My faith will guide me. Action meets reaction. Without delay. He does have a lot of good loot. Defender Flail. Reduce incoming bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage by one. Knife of the Undermountain King. Reduce the number you need to roll a critical hit by attacking by one. You know, I'd like to do like a critical hit build one of these days. Just get everything that you can possibly do to reduce your chance. Or to increase your chance of getting a critical hit. I don't know how low you can get that number. I know you can at least get it to 17. Maybe 16 and up. I'm not sure be pretty cool and then you know combine that with a class that can get extra attacks when they get a critical hit such as the battle master fighter with great weapon master be pretty cool holy donation snoopy killer coming in hot after all the gifteds in the previous stream with a 49.99 i got my golden die last night enough said enough said to the tavern we go Congratulations, Snoopy. Headed up to the brain, invisible except for my summons as meat shields. Game was not having it, though. One of the dream visitors still cast a spell on Minthara, leading to the Emperor casting Chain Light. Near wipe. Congrats. Sounds intense. Wouldn't have it any other way, right? 
Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Sesame. It goes good. You can get like 50%, 56% chance if you have advantage. I have Nier's head. I forgot. We have to return to Sovereign Gluts. Totally forgot about that. Will be done. Okay, let me get all my food here because I need it. I need scrolls too because I don't have a wizard. Oh, perfect. This is great. sell all those weapons, right? Alright, almost level 7, and then we're gonna head to Act 2. And I don't... And honestly, I don't think I need to be level 7 going into Act 2, but just because we're so close, might as well do it, right? Once we go into Act 2, we're gonna get a lot more XP from the opponents that we kill versus what we kill here at the Githyanki Crash. There also might be a lot of food here, too, so let's carry on. I'm going to wipe these guys out first, I think, because they're at the entrance. They got the high ground, too. I wonder if I should come around to the side. You know, let's let's be smart. Let's be smart. Come around this way. Thanks, Snoopy. And DJ, thank you for becoming a channel member. Appreciate that. I like your YouTube profile pic. Yes, as I finally played D&D &D for the first time, I enjoyed it. BG3 prepared me well. Isn't that beautiful? That BG3 has been played by millions and millions and millions of people. Anybody who at least put like a decent amount of time into it should be able to show up to a D&D &D table now and at least understand like the basics of what's going on. Have I liked playing an Origin run so far? Yeah, it hasn't. It's been alright. It really hasn't been like that much extra content with Lazel a little bit, but... Dark Urge was the best, for sure. We got some cool cutscenes, but overall it doesn't feel that different. Alright, let's go... Everybody up top. Lena, Anibi, thank you for gifting a channel membership to Maria. Thank you, thank you. I've always had a casual interest in D&D, but Baldur's Gate 3 has really got me to actually understand it. Yeah, it's nice. Be oh, shit. Who's fighting who? Who's in combat? What the hell's going on? Oh, I guess everybody's in combat. Story of my life in Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, Dungeons & Dragons can be super... I remember when I was a kid playing D&D with some of my friends and just being so overwhelmed with the rules and mechanics. And I was like a super hyper ADHD kid, so I just couldn't sit there and just, you know, focus and really try to learn how the numbers work and everything. So I think it's going to be nice that people are able to learn it through BG3. And then they're much more likely to actually give D&D like a real shot. Because if you feel too overwhelmed, people are like, I don't want to spend my free time doing something that makes me feel overwhelmed. I'm already overwhelmed every day when I go to work. You know? So bravo to Larian for... Making the 5e system easier to understand. Right, we're going to start by going over here. We're going to take down this jabroni right here. What do you guys think about that? Why don't I have a weapon? What the hell? Did I get disarmed? Shit. I did. That was it. Uh, oh, great. It requires an action. Okay. Not worried about it. That's what action surge is for. You gotta be kidding me. I'm ready. 
Okay. It's okay. Time to move. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Wolf. Everything's gonna be okay. Not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. Everything's just gonna be A. Okay. Got nothing to worry about. No time to waste. One, two, three. Who's not in the fight? Shadowheart? She's not. Try doing D and the D and D and the stats went over my head. Yeah, it can certainly be overwhelming if you haven't played like tabletop games before that are similar. And millions and millions and billions and billions. all coming up so might as well do that ready for another round this might be an opportunity attack no it's not I was only at 58. Oh, he's not held by hold person. All right, here we go. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Damn. So good, isn't it? It is so good. Not enough resources. That's an opportunity attack. 25 HP. We're going to take the opportunity attack. Maybe I can get in here without doing it. Nah, I'm not gonna take it. Screw it. Victory awaits. All right, let's topple this jabroni to the ground. No problem. Aaron says, I just bought DOS 2 because I've enjoyed BG3 on this channel so much. Thanks, Aaron. I should have a DOS 2 beginner's guide coming out, like a really comprehensive, in-depth beginner's guide sometime, hopefully this week. I had to almost reintroduce myself to the game mechanics. I forgot a lot of it, so I've been learning the game again. Because that, game, that game's more, in my opinion, more overwhelming than BG3 is. Especially with, like, the freedom of creating your character's builds with no set class system. I think it's a cool system. It could just be super confusing for a new player. Hey, Jackie. Jackie's playing DOS 2 right now, too. A lot of people coming over to DOS 2. I tried DOS 2 and I'm just too dumb to play it. It's so hard. Watch my guide, okay? I'm usually pretty good at explaining things to new people the games. I think it's because I'm dumb, so when I learn something... I know how to explain it so everybody else can understand it because I didn't understand it at first either, so. How oh, I started when I felt this game. Yeah, DOS 2 is even worse. I mean, all CRPGs are by their very nature, usually much more complex than a regular RPG. There's nothing worse, like I noticed this a lot before I was a YouTube creator, there's nothing worse than a beginner's guide where somebody tries to explain the game, but they don't explain it 
with beginner's terminology. Part of the reason why I started guides on my channel. Even though I don't particularly enjoy making those videos, but I can't complain, right? There's nothing worse than somebody who tries to do a beginner's guide and the terminology they use is advanced terminology. how Shadowheart just shoots Karlak to start the fight. Did I shoot Karlak? Didn't even notice that. That's how we roll though, you know? That is how we roll. This is interesting. Amulet of Branding. For, for some reason, I thought that I would have to be branded by the Absolute to use it. Expose the weak points of an enemy. They become vulnerable to bludgeoning, slashing, or piercing damage. This effect lasts three turns or until the target takes damage. So combine this... Oh my god, what's going on in my game? Combine this with... My Monk and my Fighter? Like, that's super powerful see what we can take off. Let's take off. We don't need that. I'm not using any of those abilities. Let me see what this is all about. Starion. Brand of the week. There it is. Wow. Lasts until a long rest. 60 feet. And we got... Cool. We're going to give that a try. And it's a bonus action too. But... And this would be perfect against like a boss, but the problem is the bosses are usually pretty good at, you know, overcoming wisdom saves. Maybe it's not as good as I thought. Because you only get it once per long rest. But if you do land it on a target and you have a party like I do, they're guaranteed to die probably within one round. Would have been good against Grim? Yeah. Depending on what Grim's wisdom ability score was, for sure. Okay. I can see this being pretty good if you just have knowledge on like who to use it on and also you can have synergies to make your opponents much more likely to fail a wisdom save if you save it for a boss but not as good as i thought yes let's... much more situational all right let's do some looting now still not level seven see i'm getting like no xp from these get the yankee I hope that we get a DOS 3, but I also hope that Larian comes up with a uh, a system that's a little bit easier to understand without sacrificing, you know, depth. Because it is so confusing when you play DOS 2 for the first time, you're like, well, I clicked on the fighter class and character creation, but now I have like these seven elemental things that I can go into. Where's like my fighter class? It makes no sense. And then the terminology is also confusing in DOS too, like the skills and abilities, and then abilities are combat skills, like they all overlap in like weird ways. Great game though, one of my favorites. So I'll work on that guide for you guys that are interested in that game. That are having a hard time understanding. Like it's will be done. One true way. used to like brand of the week not one false move the end comes back 
back here, buddy. I will ascend. Damn, I'd have to go all the way in with a star yeah, but honestly, I think it's worth it. Let's do that. Watch this. I'm gonna go right over the grease too. Oh no! I fell! <laughs> oh, it would have been so good too. Damn it. I will ascend. Oh man, alright. Should have done before I put the grease easy, up, easy. I should have done some stuff. Man. All right, back to our original plan. Turn down the fire. I have to survive this. Wonder if I can reach a call lightning from here, even without the lightning vulnerability. I have to go onto the grease just a little bit. Let's take the risk. It worked perfect. Nice. Oh, I got another cast of it. Well, wasted that one. That's okay. I will ascend. Oh, I guess I ruined that jump. Okay. Let's give this a try. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, so this guy's cool. Very cool. My whole choke point strategy was unnecessary. Now I'm about to just go in and kick ass. <laughs> Let's go in and just fight these peeps. I can make it there. One, two, three. Or we could kill this guy. Let's kill this guy because he's vulnerable. Alright. Now this should be double damage. Oh yeah. Wait, was that? Yep, it must have been. Let's do a regular attack. Five? Wait. Does it not last for more than one? That one didn't give me the double. The first one doubled my damage. The second one didn't. Did I lose? Oh, I lost it. Wait. It's only for one hit. Ready. Damn, that's even worse than I thought. I take it back. I don't support that ability. Last for three turns if you don't hit. Okay. Yeah, it's not that good. In fact, it sucks. Okay. On the move. 
How'd that do so little damage? Saving throw. Need to stay focused. Time to waste. There we go. Level seven. We had to act two. First, let me loot the crap out of this room here, because I need everything I can get. So cool that we get to go to a Gith crash in this game. I was so excited when we learned of it in early access or we thought we were going to one in early access because it was Lazel's quest for purification but none of us had any idea what the gith crash was going to be like Not too much going on in this room, is there? Wow, look at the... Art. Intellect of ours. Diagram showing mind flares. Attacking the brain. Sucking out the brains of a human, maybe? Or a humanoid? Intellect of our Mind flare. What? Super cool. All right, level seven. Let's start multi-classing. I think I'll probably multi-class my monk into three levels of rogue after I hit like level eight or nine. Because I think I'll get more power boost probably for now if I just stick with the monk class until I have those three levels available that I can actually multi-class. I actually like having evasive footwork because you have so many battle maneuvers that you get as you level up. You're probably not going to use half of them. So at least having one that's like defensive in nature for situational or situational in nature and defensive. I like having it available. You're surrounded by like four melee combatants. Why does the mountain pass trigger the grove progression? I don't know. There must be some technical reasoning behind that. I'd have to try to think of a good reason, which I can't do right now. But maybe somebody in chat has a good reason for that. Going to, yeah, why does going to the mountain pass trigger the grove progress? Like, what would be the reason for that instead of going to the shadow curse lands? 
What do you do in the mountain pass that has significance on Act 1? You go to the Gith Yankee crash. I don't know. Hey, Hells, what's up? Ember versus the River Song Lady? We get Evasion. On a spell or effect, would deal half damage. On a successful deck save, it deals no damage. So if you have a fireball cast at your character. Typically, when you pass the saving throw, you take half damage from the fireball. But as a monk, and also certain rogue subclasses, or maybe the, the rogue as a whole, you get no damage if you succeed. Take no damage. It's pretty nice. Stillness of mind. If you're charmed, frightened, you automatically cast stillness of mind to remove the condition. And monk is so good. That's so good. Frightened is such like a powerful ability that opponents use in this game, too. All right. I'll take this way. And a level seven party in Act One. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Oh my god. Aw, look at Scratchy. It's a cute little animation. Feel bad though. Alright, so the only reason why I'm going to continue searching the crush here is not for XP, but we're going to look for some food and stuff like that. Let me just make sure I looted everything. Ocean of healing. Oh, sh oh, God. What? 22 damage? That's straight up bullshit, dude. Deflect missiles. It's so good. So much fun. All right. Um, right. I'm going to use the choke point to my advantage now. And let's... Uh, oh, I got a great idea. Watch this. Let's get Shadowheart back. Actually, we could start off with a little Create Water. And the problem is you got to get so close. Do Create Water level 2. Oh yeah, these guys are screwed. They caused me to move up just a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to come back through the door. Close it. Okay, I guess I can't close it. Nastarion, you're going to close the door. Back up. And then give us the ultimate choke point holder. Not enough space. Oh, come on, game. No way. Hold on. Can I get Shadowheart out of the way? Nope. I can't. Just simply in the way. Pissing me off. That'll have to do. That's fine. Not a Starion's day. That was a lot of damage. I'm scared to summon Scratch because I don't want to. I don't want him to get hurt. It's just a summons, okay? They don't actually get hurt. Maybe they do. Just a bunch of ones and zeros. That's all you got to remember. A bunch of ones and zeros. better to multi-class instead of getting more attacks from the fighter that you aren't going to use? I don't understand that question, to be honest with you. Uh, more attacks is almost always something you don't want to give up. But I don't know what you're, what you're referring to. What we're talking about. Alright, let's do... 
But typically, if you multi-class and you're playing a class like the Ranger or the Fighter or the Barbarian, you usually don't want to even consider doing it until after level 5, because level 5 is when you get extra attack. An extra attack... Also, level 5 for casters means level 3 spells, but level 5 is perhaps the biggest power boost that you experience in the game in its entirety. You usually want to hit that level. Um, it might be level 6 for bards, which get their magical secrets at level 6 if you're playing a lore bard. Um... But yeah, you don't ever want to delay that feature if you don't have to. If you're a new player for them. I mean, if you're an experienced player, you can do it fine without it. But... Hold person, really? I wonder if the amulet of branding would work on the nether brain. Actually, now I think about it, Carol, now that you brought that up, I wonder if it would be good on the nether brain. Because I maybe I use bludgeoning damage in round one with, with my my melee characters. And round two, the brain's resistant or vulnerable immune immune to bludgeoning damage. Maybe Amulet of the Branding would change that and then I could do bludgeoning attacks again. I don't know. But the brain will probably succeed on a wisdom save, so probably isn't good. Can you heal the Guardian of Faith? No, it's a construct. What if I can get a fireball through here? That'd be pretty sweet. Or Flaming Sphere. Oh, I don't have a fireball. How did this guy get so close to me? That's the only bad thing about me going, trying to kill all these gifts for food, but I waste spell slots while I'm trying to gain food, and then it doesn't get me anywhere. But at least I'm getting XP. Could just do these encounters without using spell slots, I guess. Right? Sanctuary on Guardian of Faith. Does that actually work? I wouldn't care for Scratch. Oh, come on. It depends on the day, right? Good afternoon, Sharon. What I just do? Whoa, we're lagging. There we go. I think Guardian of Faith is one of my favorite spells in this game. I just think it looks so cool. It'd be so powerful, too. I know that people were saying... Um, there's like an OP strategy where you can put Guardian of Faith on the edge of a globe of invulnerability. Some people were getting mad at me, actually, because I did it on my first honor mode run when I was facing Viconia, but I wasn't aware of the strategy. I just happened to place the Guardian of Faith like near the edge of the globe. I had no idea what I was doing, and then I had like 10 players send me a message how I was cheating honor mode. I was like, y'all gotta chill the hell out. Um, yeah, apparently that's a super OP strategy, where your Guardian of Faith doesn't take damage, but it keeps dishing out radiant damage. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll try that later on. 
when we get global invulnerability because I don't care on this run about cheesing things. I just want to kick ass. Soldier. Good. That was amazing when I did that. Yeah, I did it without even knowing though. I've never even heard of that strategy before. This is... <laughs> what is in here? Oh, it's a Gramishka. Oh no! Damn, this thing has mirror image. Crazy bastard. How did I lose my damn range weapon? Bunks look entirely too soft for my liking. The bunks look entirely too soft for Lazel's liking. That's funny. You know, sometimes sleeping on a harder surface is actually nice. Makes your body feel better too. I used to have a friend. Um, when I was over in Thailand, he came and stayed with me in my hotel or in my apartment over there. On one of the times that I was over there. And I had a pretty big bed. I was like, dude, just sleep on the bed with me. He slept right on the freaking concrete floor. It was concrete, too. Crazy apartment. And he loved it. Parasite. Take it. It might be useful. He said it made his body feel much better, like in terms of his back when he woke up in the morning. Maybe you guys feel a similar way or what? a parasite nearby you should manage to globe the elder brain once was not very fun that's hilarious that's great globe of invulnerability on the final boss of the game that's funny eh? as long as you could stand in well that fight's on a timer so yeah that's a really bad idea still a little disappointed that that timer doesn't show up on honor mode run because there are indicators as to when the time when the round's gonna end but there's two different indicators. One of them's right and the other one's wrong. And it's just like a guessing game for a player unless they've memorized the fight on their first run. I do feel like Larian Steel, although some people did tell me on honor mode that they had a timer for their brain fight, but I think that's a mechanic that should be in the elder brain fight. Shouldn't ever have to guess how long the timer is for the run, uh, especially on the final boss of a permanent TPK honor mode run. I thought that was pretty silly, but I don't use that as an excuse because I probably would have died either way with how I played it, but... I was thinking about that the other day and I was like, that's kind of ridiculous that you don't know when the when the fight's actually over. Because I was going by the platforms and there was still a platform available for me. So I was like, I have another round to deal damage, but apparently I didn't. Maybe it's a perception check. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it has something to do with like the brain when you talk to the brain earlier. When you try to use the nether stones on the brain and it uh, resists you. But if you pass those checks, like, the brain loses oh. HP, but maybe it also has something to do with that. I just think it's a mechanic that the timer should show for everybody, regardless of what difficulty you're playing on, or regardless of what checks that you pass. Your game says five turns left. Are you playing on honor mode, Lava? I keep seeing some people say that they had the timer, and other people said that they didn't. So I don't really know, like... Could have been a bug, too. I don't know. No restoration pod before the fight. Yeah, that's a funny one. Um, I guess you could go back, though, couldn't you? When you get up there. You could run backwards. I don't know. I don't... In the final... In the up... In the upper city, are you allowed to take a long rest? Like, if you arrive at the Elder Brain with no spell slots. Can you run back to that little temple? Where everybody was, like, meeting up for the final fight? And then rest?
Because, yeah, that would also be a bummer, too. If you made it to that spot, and you had no idea that you had to conserve your spell slots for the final fight. That would be a bummer, too. No long rest there. there Only yes. potions? Hmm. Yeah, I don't agree with that mechanic, either. Especially players coming from Tactician, where there is a restoration oh, pod. Would you... Ending up on the final boss fight with no spell slots because you thought there were spell slots. Yeah, I'd, I'd change that too if it was me. Barely manage my pack. You'd kill me. The box for the teleporter has slumber potions. Yeah, I remember using slumber potions myself, but not all players are, are aware of that. There are angelic slumber potions. At that point, you might as well just give a restoration pod. You know what I mean? Like, why make players drink potions? Just give give one restoration pod. It would just be a, it'd be a weird mechanic to lose the game to. And it's not really like a skill thing. It's just like not knowing what the game had for you when you played it previously and it had it. That'd be, it'd just, it would feel shitty. It would feel shitty as a player to make it to the final boss. This is coming from someone who didn't experience that because I knew or I didn't know, but I, I had angelic potions. It'd be a shitty feeling to make it to the final boss on honor mode run, not have a way to restore your health slot or your spell slots because you thought there was a ray and then losing to the final boss because you didn't have enough damage. That would make a player feel really shitty. Let the player lose to the final boss in combat, at least fairly. You know what I'm saying? You have the restoration pods. It's different. It's different on honor mode and tactician. Oh, fuck. They're not as numbered as you may find them unbalanced. All right, let's go to bed. Knowing this is the skill in BG or D&D. No, that's not a skill. That's no. That's having played the game prior. prior. Child of Gith. Knowledge, not skill. Or is knowledge a skill? <gasps> Supreme Kithrak, has Vlacketh sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. He's trying to corrupt you with lies. We need to get rid of him. I like Va I like this guy. He's one of my favorite NPCs in the game. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Yeah, there's no pod on honor mode, one winged. Fine. I'll hear what you have to say before I gut you. Be at ease. I bring only truth. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it, he needs a better lies haircut. the seed of Vlacketh's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. And who is this seed of Vlacketh's demise? If they have not said, they must have good reason, and I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally, protects you with their power. That very power will be the end of Vlacketh's tyranny. The Prism's tenant must be let loose. I've heard enough. Taste my fury. A Kithrak resists the Undying Queen? That either makes you a fool or a hero. A fool stumbles without cause. A hero serves a cause without question. Ooh, I like that. I am neither. Clear of heart, clear of mind, and bound by no master. I don't know if that's true, though. Now, you must listen. The Prism's tenant can put an end to Vlacketh's tyranny. They must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the Prism went missing, I feared the worst. Mm -hmm. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. Amazing scene. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Boulder's Gate. I'll be waiting in a tap room called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of our people. All right. Rizel, 
Together we will break our chains. Thank you, Bondi. And be Vlacketh's slaves no longer. I am no slave. It is Vlacketh who will purify me and ascend me. You want... I think we're starting to question our faith now, so let's not say that. Let's go with number two. We don't really know for sure. I'll let you leave this camp alive, Voss, but I cannot promise nothing more. Give me that detector, please. Hmm, for now, that will do. Close one. Okay. Take this. It is a Quanith. A psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. Dragon. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. Okay. I should go. Vlacketh's gaze pierces the that. seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Boulder's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Yeah, Voss is one of my favorite NPCs. Uh, one out of ten for haircut, though. But ten out of ten for confidence. And confidence is key. That dude's probably been slaying Gith Yankee Poon since... Since he was at Crush Kalir. Right out the damn egg. And I respect it. You like Voss too, Jackie? You gotta give give a dono to give you that haircut? Like I said, everything comes at a price, right? For the right price. I'll get my hair done like that. Not gonna tell you what that price is though, but it's not cheap. Notice how Voss will get more scars as the story progresses? Interesting, I didn't know that. If Yankee have the Dr. Seuss upper lip. Speaking of Dr. Seuss, I get a lot of people calling me a who from Whoville. I've gotten that comment like probably 10 times in my YouTube career right now. That's a lot. Do I look like a who? Can you feel that? The dark, it's hungry. Best watch the shadows. I gotta go to the bathroom real fast. Are you the true soul? Uh, I'll take that as a yes. Listen up. Grab a torch. Stay out of the dark and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. How we doing? Everybody doing good? Everybody still here? The mayor of Chicago has that hairstyle now? Sick. I did buy the Dex gloves, yep. 
now my monk has pretty good AC. Thank God, right? 17 AC while wearing monk cloth. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. Do continue. I could have died in that pod back on the Nautiloid. Mm -hmm. You could have died. No. Spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. I wouldn't have died. Twice I've never TPK'd in the Nautiloid ship in my entire life. You supported me against Lazel. I may not have survived that night without you. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. No, it's not I bad, AC. Not for the build that I'm doing. To Lady I'm not Shah. using strength Save elixirs and all that stuff that people do to church. play the monk. To become a the good AC for what I'm working with. The Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling, but Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the... Not my... Mother Superior, gotcha. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever... Goodbye, Shadow. What's the story? Yeah, somebody who dumped... Uh dexterity as a tavern brawler monk and didn't do the whole potion thing where you drink a potion at every long rest etc that's pretty good ac this place. for the build that i'm running and considering that the build is Enough pretty much overpowered the way it is there's got to be some downside to it if that means i'm gonna have you know one or two lower ac and so be it i'm still extremely overpowered so there's got to be some limitations when you do a build like this Could switch to using armor with my monk, um, but I like the movement speed. Well be done. Um, let's get a torch. Up one of these bad boys. Well, hello. is the current MVP of my party. Her and I think Carlac's pretty damn good too. I like my clerics too. But yeah, Lazel's pretty damn good. I don't know if I I don't know if I feel like Tavern Brawler Monk is better than Battlemaster Fighter or not. I think it is earlier on in the game. I'm not sure when the Battlemaster Fighter reaches level 11 how that will feel in comparison to the Tavern Brawler Monk, but the Shadow Curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly at least. Do you know what this means? Never said use strength elixir to play a monk. Alright, how are you gonna blessed. get higher AC, GM Dragon? Unless you multi-class. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Lady the If you want to stay unarmored as a monk, how are you gonna get higher AC? Tell me. Could use a shield. I'm not doing that though. I'm offensive. Offensive focus monk, tavern brawler. Come at me, bro. Meet me outside, actually, GM Dragon. Meet me outside. Let's see what happens. I'll get your IP address and I'll show up at your house in two two motherfucking seconds. Okay, brother? Just like I did to all those Xbox Live kids back in the day. I got all their IP addresses when I told them I would, and I showed up and I beat their ass right out in the street. Challenge me, bro. Indolence breeds madness. Challenge me on my monk's AC one more time and see what happens. X says I can confirm that. See, I told you. Not a joke. It was an empty threat for most people. For me, it wasn't. I had a whole team of hackers working for me when I was 14 years old playing Halo 3. Hey, boy. You want the bone? Challenge accepted. Okay, let's observe this. <laughs> he 
see that blight echo? Swallowed all by the shadow curse. Bet it was pure tasty. You're the true soul we're taking to Moonrise, I'm guessing. I like this guy, he's funny. Yeah, Lazal is a monk. I feel like it's pretty fitting for her story, too. It makes sense. A lot of Gith Yankee are monks. I mean, fighter's probably perfect for her, but monk's pretty cool, too. Uh, I was sent here by another goblin. That'll be Rizzle. Huh. Thought she'd be back by now. Oh, well. The curse gets deadlier the further you go in. But have no fear, boss. We've got a guide. Talk to Kansif inside. He'll run through it. Will do. Thanks. Anything for a true soul. Gauntlets at ADAC. Putting a good word for me at I'm Moonrise, using the dexterity eh? gauntlets. So what gauntlets? What are we going to put them on? Uh, replace it with my dexterity gauntlets? Exactly. All right, let's actually, let's go this way. Let me see if I can just skip this part right here. I'm kind of curious what happens if we just run over to the Harpers. Did you kill the Harpy ambush and ambush the spider dude yourself? You guys, well, I don't think I want to kill the, har the Harpers. I love the Harpers. There's so many great characters that come from the Harpers faction. Are they here right now? Are they waiting or do you have to activate that scene? Interesting. So I wonder what happens if I go right to the last light in right now. You know? I think that means that I would see the Drider back at Moonrise Towers, which would be kind of cool, but I guess I'd rather kill him now. Respec and bump up Wisdom. My Wisdom's already pretty high. Why would I bump Wisdom up? What's it really going to help me with for this build? Besides AC. My stats are pretty good right now. Let's see, what do we got? Lazel, 16 wisdom. Yeah, bump it up. <laughs> what do you want me to bump it up to? Oh my god, some of you guys. Some of you guys are fucking classics. True soul. An honor. Did you bring the liar? Um, do I have the liar? I don't know if I do. Good. We were told to expect you. Then pluck a tube, and our guide will come scuttling. Okay, let's pluck a tune. I do have the performance. I got the performance skill from Elf Alfalfa. <laughs> Shout out to GM Dragon for the Alfalfa name. I'm taking credit for that, though. That's not good. Max wisdom, minimize in intelligence. You guys know that when you when you go above 14, it requires double points to up your ability scores. I'm telling you guys, my monk build is good for the way that I'm playing it in terms of AC. Doing to it. You can play a different monk if you want and get higher AC, but you're not doing the same thing that I'm doing. I always thought the stories were exaggerated. Greetings, and the Absolute's name. You have been charged with guiding us. New flesh for you, my queen. But who are they? Best introduce yourself. Perhaps you'll listen to a true soul. I think this is one of my favorite NPCs in the game. You guys agree? I think this is such a cool character, and I think it's really cool that Larian included a Dryder into this game. Especially as someone who read the Legend of Drist book series, and Dryders are like such an important part of the first couple books. It's all based around Drow society. It's awesome, man. Did you know when you fight the Hag, you can get her hair and get the free ability point? Yes, I did, but I didn't do that in my run. So, yeah, I didn't do that in my run. That didn't happen. You want me to just replay the entire game just to get that one one ability point just to possibly get one higher AC? <laughs> God, dude. I'm fucking triggered right now. I'm triggered that you guys are criticizing my monk. 
Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Oh shit, what'd I just do? Freaking hyena, what the hell? Two void bulbs. I would like some more of those, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and summon Scratch. Call in aid. Would I mind explaining how the Drow society works? Um, long, long story made short. It's a matriarchal society built of different factions and families within the city that are all vying for power and they're willing to do anything to achieve that ultimate power. So all the houses in, in Menzo Baranza, they're all at war with each other and always trying to assassinate each other. And if you're born a male in Drow society, you're at the bottom of the totem pole. It's a rough life for us men out there. <laughs> it's a real rough life. And hey Lisa, what's up? What? Are you more faithful of the absolute? They need a guide to the tower, same as us. Your minds connect, and you hear a whispered voice the absolute, or just the echoes. God, of it's so cool, man. Mind, the design reverberating in the dark. <laughs> a true soul. You have more worshippers every day, Majesty. <coughs> Huh. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Almost died. They'll do nicely. <laughs> Sorry about that. It is time to leave. Take me to Moonrise. Very well. Gather the flock. Bless us again, Majesty. Shine your light. Protect us. Follow and stay close. Do not leave the light. Do not feed. Do it. All right, let's go. We're gonna jump this dude right now. I think he has a legendary action too. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Mac, what's up? Going pretty good. Yep, we are in the Shadow Curse lands now. I think Act Two will probably take like two or three sessions, and then we'll be in Act Three, which should probably be another three, and then we're done. As long as I win. Wants to become shadows. Drow chicks are so hot, true. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the lore of the drow, but there are Seldarine drow, which aren't, um, you know, as evil as the Loth Sworn drow. Well, I'm not sure what the lore is these days, but yeah, generally speaking. They must keep. Um, the surface folks are pretty worried when they see drow because a lot of the times when drow come to the surface They're on raids to slaughter Elven villages kind of like the Githyanki. Yankee if you see the Githyanki Yankee coming down They're usually on like a Viking raid of some sort so That's where all the hesitation comes from people in the realms when they see you know Githyanki Yankee or drow Looks like an ambush. Wait <clears throat> yourself Harper's attack kill the cultists and get that lantern Paladacks! villains in the dark these Harpers are clearly enemies of the absolute they could be worthwhile allies but defend the guide and you may preserve your cover as a true soul what do you guys want me to do should we work with the Harpers I think I'm gonna work with the Harpers evil compared to other races is that their culture is just killing each other for power that can work for them? That's an interesting uh, topic to bring up because are mind flayers evil? <clears throat> Sucking out the brains of all the humanoid creatures, but that's what they need to survive. So they have a totally different perspective on life than, than people like us would. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the caravan and attack the drider. What are they doing? We thought they were true souls. 
Have I beaten honor mode yet? Just go onto my channel, click on videos, and click on my second most recent video, and you will have the answer to your question. I think this guy has... Does he have... No, he doesn't have a legendary action, actually. That's pretty annoying that he gets to go first, though. Wow, that's really annoying. There's a sanctuary. You gotta be kidding me. That's like the worst... That's the worst thing that could have happened for this fight, is Karnas going first in the order of turns. That's horrible. That sucks. <laughs> Like, what a difference in an encounter where Karnas is, like, later on in the order of turns and you get to go, like, with three of your characters and freeze him in place or knock him prone or even just kill him in one round. Now you have to deal with Sanctuary every single round for the entire round. Like, he he literally, that a lucky bastard. You gotta be kidding me. I still have my torches out. Crap. No! <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and use AOE spells, but I think I'm going to work on these guys for a minute. Oh no! Opportunity attack! AOE will damage it. I'm aware of that. It's just like a, it's a totally different fight. I don't have a lot of AOE with my, with my party here. It totally changes like my experience with this fight from previously when I fought him, which is cool. I like that about this game. I like it a lot. Parasite becomes the Mind Flayer, overtaking the victim's body. Ceramorphosis. Ceramorphosis? Ceramorphosis? Kill the Drider and raise him as an undead companion. I don't have Raise Undead, but that would be pretty cool. Even if, it did, if I did have Raise Undead, though, I think it just... Doesn't it just turn him into a zombie or a skeleton? You don't actually get the Drider with you. I remember doing that with a couple characters. Got to keep fighting. Um, I wonder if I could hold on. Who would we got in order of turns? Can't afford to let up. I wonder if Hold Person will work on him when he has Sanctuary. I didn't even think about that. That could actually just make it super easy again. Effective Entity can't be targeted by enemy attacks or spells. However, it can still take damage from spells that influence a larger area. So yeah, no, Hold Person doesn't work, I don't think. I love Barbarians in this game. One of the coolest classes for sure, with the Rage. You can command dead on Karnas, and you'll have him till long rest. Hey, Hype, what's up? Hey, thank you. Hypno, excuse me. Not Hype. Hypno, Hypno 52. I was debating whether or not the Zents at Walking's Rest were evil or not. Um, yeah, the Zentrum faction as a whole... Although they can be uh, appear civilized at times, they are overall an evil faction. Even though everything that they do is not necessarily evil, they participate in a lot of, you know, respectful civilized society, but at the same time they have all these like underground networks. That's why they're called the Black Network. But generally speaking, the Zentrum is, uh, is not your friend if you're a good citizen of Faerun. All right, let's, um, let's see. Great weapon on. Let's take him out. See ya. Now we'll work on this guy. Perfect. But according to the lore, I remember doing a lot of research on this. The Zentrum is much better now than they were in the past. They've become a lot more normal. They're really just a faction that wants to control all of Faerun militaristically, which is usually a bad thing, so. 
You got factions like the Harpers, who like live to ensure that no one city or person or faction has too much power. Then you got the Emerald Enclave. In the radical radicalized section of the Emerald Enclave, well, not part of the Emerald Enclave, is the Shadow Druids. Where if you cut down a tree, they'll drop a nuclear bomb on your city. He's not an aberration, no. Definitely a humanoid. Yeah, he's a drow. They just label him as a drow. Humanoid drow. Do, 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 do. All right, monk time. Sanctuary still on. Let's go. Perfect. Finish this guy off. Beautiful. Still a couple goblins left that I wouldn't mind killing. This guy getting an opportunity attack. If he does, that'll take away his sanctuary, though. So perfect. All right, I gotta be careful because I'm low HP. Take you. Hey Scott, what's up? Wondering what the next BG3 update will look like? Me too. It's been a while since we've heard anything from Larian, hasn't it? Zentrum are shady AF, true. Yeah, they are. Sanctuary is blocked right now. I didn't even notice that. Arlac DLC. That would be so cool. An Avernus DLC. Get to go into the hells. Ride some war machines. Oh, that would be so cool. That guy's got a ton of HP, man. This is crazy. Gotcha. Can it work twice at 45%? We're going to find out. No! Try it again. Yes! That's awesome. Other things on the line. I don't know if this dude needs a weapon though. He looks like a weapon, doesn't he? Return the lantern. It's got sanctuary again. Um, what to do? What to do? What to do? What to do? Start off with that. Really, nothing I can do. Not with the monk. Thing about call lightning is it doesn't keep using your spell slots. I didn't mean to do that. Why? What the hell, man? Now I can't even cast it without hitting my own character.
Harper Branthos. Not gonna waste scrolls. Or should I? Burning hand scrolls would be nice. He's only got 52 HP. No, we're not gonna waste a scroll. I'm very conservative with my scrolls because I don't have a wizard in my group, so. That scares me. Really now. See ya. And that's it, folks. Carnus, the Drider, has been defeated. What a freaky looking creature. People with arachnophobia must have been flipping out at this character. <laughs> Incredible. A light so radiant, not even the curse can dim it. The lantern flickers ever so briefly, and you hear a slight twitter. Or perhaps it's simply your imagination. You. Don't move a god's damn muscle. Talk. Why in the hells would a cultist turn on her kind? The pin the man wears is familiar to you. He belongs to the Harpers, a covert organization dedicated to freedom and balance. I'm not one of them. They took me prisoner. A prisoner? Then I must be a welcome sight indeed. Give me the lantern and follow. Hey, it's quite green, isn't he? Darkness. You can rest there. All right, we'll hand over. We'll hand over the lantern. Thank you. The monk is really Let good. The Hypno. Light be your guide. What subclass did you play? Should you lose the way? Open hand monk is certainly um, a very, very powerful class, and if you build it right, one of the most powerful in the game. If you do it with the tavern brawler feet, like I'm doing it, but I think even without the tavern brawler, this would be really powerful. Not sure how good the Shadow Monk is, and I think the Way of the Four Elements Monk, a couple people were telling me that that one felt a little underwhelming, which is understandable considering that in D&D a lot of players hate that subclass. But the Open Hand Monk is pretty damn powerful. Open up. No complaints. Yeah, there's just not much food here. I'm gonna have to go back. I wonder where I, where I should go in Act One. Where I need to go in Act One to get more food. I don't remember like what I missed. Oh, let's go fight these things over here. These are kind of annoying though, without the pixie. All the food is rotten. It's unfortunate. I like the not provoking opportunity attacks necklace. Find pretty good use out of it. What now? Step quick. 
Okay, here we go. Just like old times. Got our little buddies down here. Watch your back. The dark lady shields you. I can feel her. These are called measles. Damn, they have 88 HP. It's really high. That's really high. And the gloves of dexterity are just, they're just so nice when you're playing a low dex build. Because I can shoot my ranged weapons and just be really powerful with them. These things were such a pain to fight. I remember on my first playthrough, Dustbringer, they were a pain. They were scary. They kept teleporting me away. And I kept getting hit by the shadow curse and I was freaking out. Let's see what they do on this one, though. If I can get a nice call lightning off. Doesn't look like they're not grouped together enough. Whoa. Most of this would not land on these guys, though, I don't think. It looks like one, two... I think they're all going to get hit by this, actually. Let's try level three. Interesting. I wonder if this will work. Hold on. I'm going to wet my own team, too. Let me try it. Wet. Wet. Wet and wet. The pro plays. Pro plays out of create water right there. You guys got to give me some credit. Sorry, I move over here, buddy. This is gonna feel good. I think it's time to jump down. Get a little crazy. I'll just stay up. Screw it. Why well, jump down? Pro player minimum builder. God says I have 260 hours in BG3 and never left Act 1. That's incredible. Is that all on one one playthrough? Or is it multiple playthroughs? Must be multiple, right? I don't think there's enough to do. Which I know there's not enough to do. Unless you're just soaking in the ambience and running around. No, stop. Take the sh Why is it doing that? Make way. In my best interest. Yeah! Down by the river is a banger for 50 hours. Many playthroughs, okay. 200 hours in character creation. True. Guess that would add to the time, right? Yeah, the chicken pox, but not measles. Me too. I remember chicken pox when I was a kid. It used to be a really, uh, really deadly thing way back in the day. I think I have to electrocute myself or I electrocute Scratch. You know what? Just because I care about you guys today, I'm going to electrocute myself, okay? This might actually cause me to lose concentration on Call of Lightning. But for the sake of Scratch and how much you guys love him. I will do it to myself. kidding me <laughs> you do love scratch yep I got you guys 
Nothing to worry about. And a little bit of lag here. There we go. Eight damage out of scratch. He really is a champion. Honestly, when I get to level 8, I could just go right for Catherick and we could skip all of Act 2. I don't think I have to do every encounter down here. turn heading out it happens Okay, so using my... I just noticed this. So using my one Misty Step from my equipment gets rid of the other use of Misty Step that I had from equipment. I don't get two Misty Steps. It's a bummer. is shadow cursed right now. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. Good stuff. Good good stuff. Let's have a look. Trying to get level 12 in Act 3. So the thing is, in Act 3, you get way more XP in the encounters that you're in. So the quicker you can get to the next act, without wiping, of course, you're going to level much quicker. Because once I do, once I get to level 8 here, like every other encounter in this area, the XP is going to be a lot more yeah, diminishing returns, you know? So if I can make it to Act 3, the encounters that I get into, they're going to have much more of an effect on my overall level. I'm going to level much quicker. How tedious do I want to get with it, you know? Eager for battle. Oh, minor hindrance. There's some intel that cylindrical hut down the stairs. When the wearer deals radiant damage, the target receives two turns of radiating orb. Affected entity has a minus one to attack rolls for each remaining turn. It also sheds a bright light in the area surrounding it. Those are cool gloves. Yeah, I love them too. Especially for Shadow. Shadow Heart Sass. 
Uh, Scratch is currently up here suffering from the shadow. There we go. Took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Ignorance bleeds madness. That's how you get the chest open, without having to do what Security. I did. I doubt the measle has anything good on him. Missing so much at 75%. Do, do, do. Oh no, opportunity attack. Oh great, and I go prone. Dude, these things are freaking terrifying, aren't they? They remind me of some movie. The Goosebumps? I used to be terrified of like... Undead dogs when I was a kid. There's a mod that allows you to skip the Gauntlet of Shar. People don't like the Gauntlet of Shar. I think the Gauntlet of Shar is pretty fun. But with that said, after one or two playthroughs, yeah. It's not nearly as fun after that because you already know how to do it, but... I mean, those are still there's still two pretty legit combat encounters in the Gauntlet of Shar. They're just like normal combat encounters. No different than what I'm in right now. Just takes a little bit of time to get through the Gauntlet. I remember the fade though in Dragon Age. I also didn't mind the fade either on the first run, but on the second run, I guess it could get pretty redundant. Sounds like fun. I like to prolong the Dark Justicia fight so that the big guy comes out. Hair or something on my. Thank you. 
biatch. You bow or you break. Inefficient path. Can't hide from me. Can't hide from me, sir. Yeah, we're getting like no XP from these fights right now. When the wearer's weapon and unarmed attacks deal an additional 1d4 damage against lightly or heavily obscured creatures. Creatures made of shadow. Um, might be alright to put it on, I guess, for the shadow curse lands, maybe. All right, let's go to the last light in. I don't have any more short rests. Just in case I get into combat along the way, let's go ahead and at least let her survive. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I have plenty of those. Perfect. While I'm at it. That's all we need. Eager for battle. Proceeding. Like there'd be a spot to dig right here, right? leave Hawk when you want to exile the Wardens. As we can't speak too much about Dragon Age because I've been missing it a lot. I don't want to do an entire playthrough right now. I think I'm going to do another DD1 playthrough before Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out. Even though that'll probably be a boring stream for a lot of people. Great game though. But I like to re-familiarize myself with all the mechanics so I can more easily make content on DD2. I think I'll just do that on stream. DD1's great. Yeah, I love that game. Got a lot of... I love certain things about it. There's other aspects about DD1 that are pretty bad, though, too. But with that said, uh, a wonderful game and one of my faves for action RPGs, for sure. But it's hopefully uh, with DD2, I'm seeing a lot of good things about Dragon's Dogma 2. Like, I am unbelievably hyped for it. Seems like they've maybe cleaned up some of the faults that DD1 had. But can't know for sure, though. Is it worth playing Divinity 1? I think most people would say yes to that. But at the very least, make sure you play Divinity Original Sin 2. For sure. You don't have to play 1 before 2, and 2 is a lot more modern, and Larian was a much better developer by the time they got around to 2, they perfected their formula. But I've never played uh, 1 before, so I can't speak on that. A lot of people do recommend it, though. But if your time is limited, play Divinity Original Sin 2. Make sure you play that one, even if you have to play it before 1. You there! Step forward, 
And keep your hands off your weapons. Easy. She helped us out in the shadows. Come. Jahira. Jahira! You guys know who this character is? Originals. Divinity Original Sin 1 is really good, but 2 is just gold standard. Yeah, I don't hear anybody ever say that DOS 1 was their favorite game of all time, but DOS 2. People say it all the time. Including myself. If this is supposed to scare me, it won't work. Monks are not so easily cowed. Huh. A level head. Let us see if you will get to keep it. Well, the story of DOS 1, but the mechanics of DOS 2, Shy. Okay, okay. I saved your soldiers, and this is the thanks that I get. Kindness is too often a decoy. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. Did the driders and the measles shine? You should never have come here Pretty much it. Soul. Let's rage against the vines with a plus four. This is such an intense scene on a first playthrough, especially if you guys know Jahira. Like, it's you have no idea what the outcome is going to be. And, like, you're so worried about angering Jahira and having her turn hostile on you. <clears throat> It'll hurt less if you hold still. Mourn for whoever you were before the Absolute infected you. Stop! What's she doing? She's the one who saved us! She's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Plucked one of my friends out of a harpy's talons. Knows when to be discreet, too. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. A true soul with a mind of her own? How is that possible? Because of this artifact. is that thing let's tell Jahira everything that we know congratulations you've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt hear me Harpers all clear at ease I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is but I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark tell me why have you come here I'm here on holiday. You're just in time for happy hour. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Elo oil in the cupboard. Look in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Maybe I'll save Mole on this one because I haven't done that before. You're knocking around here, right? Indolence breeds madness. Too dark to tell. Close. Will be done. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. I love this scene. Nice little tie in here. You know her? Not personally. I mean, I wish. She's an absolute legend. Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. 
the legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid, adamant, tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! He was referencing, if you guys played Baldur's Gate 1, that's the journey that you went on with Jahira. Most players go with Jahira. I wish there was other ca companions that had that line, too, or that would recognize Jahira. People that didn't have Karlak with them would never get that scene. Proceeding. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Oh, God. Sorry, if it costs me, it costs you. <laughs> That'd be one of my favorite tracks on the OST. I can sell here. Well, hello. I'd love to, thanks. Keep a Don't have that much gold, but I would love buying the whole monster scroll. Just so good. One of the best spells in this game, hands down. Easy dub with it. Always good to have. Especially at this level, too. Although you can't use it on Catherick, though, because he's undead. Oh, the iron flask. I could use a magic missile scroll and I could use the hold monster scroll, but that shit is expensive. I could also use these too. How much are they gonna cost me? 380 gold for one long rest, I'll take it. We'll take those potions. And the question is, do I want to buy the whole monster scroll for all of my gold that I have right now? Take care. Hey Vlad, what's up? Arrows of many targets. 
Yeah, a lot of people say good things about those arrows. For sure. Alright, we got our buddy. I'm gonna leave the cow alone on this run. There's our buddy. Da Let's see what Damon has. I thought you got this is Carlac's quest, but we're not Sorry. interested in that right now. We're interested in what this guy has. Arrow of Aberration Slain. You know what? That actually would be really good against the final boss. Also piercing damage, too. I might buy that. The, pr the thing is, when I get to the final boss, I'm going to forget, though. But that's nice. Double damage. No, it doesn't work on the final boss. Why not? Sword of Lifesteal. And on a critical hit, the target takes an extra 10 necrotic damage as long as it isn't a construct or undead. See, I think there'd be some really cool, like, item builds around critical hits. And then you use, like, a sword like this. That's pretty cool. You used it on the final boss? Okay. You can use it, yeah. You can throw hammers? Yeah, you can. That's why I usually keep a couple of them if I'm facing, like, against Grim, that could be a good strategy. A couple other enemies in the game that you could use it against, but. Champion build? Yeah, the champion fighter, you're right. Um, okay, I don't think I need anything from this guy right now. It's a cool sword, though. Thermodynamo axe. It's pretty cool. Uh, let me see if there's any, hold on, just out of curiosity, let's check real fast. Gain proficiency with short swords, long swords, and great swords. Grants resistance to fire damage, cold damage, and you get the haste spell. That's pretty good. Although haste isn't nearly as good in honor mode as it is, as it is in balance or tactician. And that's a lot of gold, so I'd have to steal it from Shout him. if you need anything else. As a map. Sure. Shout if you need in. I already sold my infernal iron. How fast the search? Oops. Maybe. But I'd. We certainly will. All right, let's go kill Marcus. Probably do Marcus with a partial rest. I'm thinking. That way I save those spell slots. I don't even have a part. Um, let's see. Hold on. Yeah, I think I'm looking pretty good. I think a partial... Ooh, I don't have any spell slots left for the Starion, though. Ooh, or Shadowheart. Damn. Okay. A lot of good little items here. Securing. I'll take those. I'll take those. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, the strange ox is here, yep. Items in BG3 are so nicely designed. Yeah, Larian did a pretty good job. Especially for 5th edition, where items can feel a little underwhelming, as you don't, like, find new... A lot of players are used to picking up, like, another armor piece, or another sword, and, like, the damage numbers go up. It doesn't really work like that in BG3. Doesn't happen nearly as often. Valerian did a good job, like adding all these cool things to items. I think I prefer the way that like armor class and damage numbers work in D and D fifth edition mechanics versus playing a game where every time you kill an enemy, you pick up an item that has a higher damage output. That shit's kind of annoying. You never really get attached to like any like items. Just constantly changing your gear like every five minutes. I don't know if I like that. What's that? Got 
Can I do the Helsing quest on this one? Or should we leave the lands cursed? Flame color. That's your name. Mm. Wait, this is no physical air. Please, that is no. Not till I met. Oh, this was in his pocket. Healing. We found Art's last orders to investigate the House of Healing. If we follow in his footsteps, we might learn more about him. If you have an alternative in mind. That guy might have information on the Shadow Curse and how we can overcome it, as Mr. Helson would tell us. I think I'm going to take a partial rest. We're going to conserve spell slots for a little bit here. I just love the Last Light Inn. I wish we could experience the Last Light Inn without the Shadow Curse. You know what I mean? Like, this would have been a really nice inn right outside the town of Wraithwind, or maybe it's in Wraithwind, technically. What lies within? I want to hang out here. And over here is the Kuotoa fight, another highly missed fight over here in Act 2. Hey, good looking. Action, not reaction. Proceeding. Alright, let's go ahead and take a... We're going to do a partial rest. Get half of our spell slots back. That should be good enough for Marcus. The voice of the absolute is strong here, and getting stronger. You like life steal, Shay? I trust you've come to your senses. We have to work together, or the absolute will enthrall us both. I cannot keep this up indefinitely. But it's good to see you're making progress. My girl. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. The partial rest? If you don't have enough camp supplies, or if you don't have, um... Or if you're trying to conserve camp supplies, which in most playthroughs you shouldn't need to as long as you're looting everything. You can get half... Half your max HP back, half your spell slots, and things like that. So it gives you like a little bit of a benefit. You don't get a full long rest. You're not fully powered, but at least you get some of your power back. I did what I could, but I'm not sure they'll survive out there on their own. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I didn't make this guardian, Shai. My transformation? Yes, but the orders are oddly erratic. As if the Absolute cannot make up its mind. I don't fully understand. Pretty hot though, isn't she? In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. Did you steal the power to protect us from the Absolute? I stole it from Blackith. Uh -oh. Her continued rule depends on it. I understand you are still misguided by your faith in the Lich Queen. Did you just say that? But me? such faith is blinding you from the truth. As long as the Absolute exists, I am trapped within the prism. Mm -hmm. I can only control the power from here. We must make sure Blackith never gets her hands on the prism. <laughs> no wonder she's so pretty. Nor the Absolute. Is that in Customizer? 
Unfortunately, they are both dedicating more and more resources to retrieving it. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. Now I must rest. Alright, we had some Moiselle specific stuff there. Nice. <laughs> you have, let's say, a unique taste in character creator. Come on, Karlak, let's go. Ugh. Ripe's sake. Great, now I gotta live with that damage. <laughs> Damn, it's good to be alive. See, look, I took a partial rest, and you guys can see I have half of my uh, no time to waste. stuff back. Keep up to half. Alright, um. Up to half your max. You don't get short rest back though, so I really shouldn't have shot Carlac right there. Damn it. What's the story? Oh, enough waiting. Alright, let's skip the conversation the with Oh hey, look who it is. Alfalfa. Oh, you're alright. Thank goodness. I was worried they'd got you too. I didn't thunderwave her off the cliff. You think a few shadows could beat me? Wait. No one's told you. We were ambushed out in the darkness. By cultists. We surrendered. But that wasn't enough for them. They lined us up like dogs. Asherak was with the kids. Telling them it was going to be alright. Maybe that's why they picked him. Told him to kneel. They took his eyes first. Then his tongue. And how did you survive? Some of us fought back. Or tried to. But it was hopeless. Hey, All you could do up. was run. Going pretty good. And what did the cultists do to the others? I don't know. It just happened so quickly. How do you do it? How do you keep going? God, no fear is so soft. To linger in the past is to condemn our future. Focus on here and now. You make it sound so easy. But I'll try. Hey, Darth, what's up? You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Don't worry, I'll find them. Thank you. Just be careful. Yeah, I got you. Please. Oh. Do your very good health. You perceive it doesn't spoil the taste. Indulge me. I drank Answer the truth wine. And do not lie. The parasite is changing, but a river can flood and break its banks. Go. We track them to this ancient village. You, we, you are that hope. Once Gatherick is without his shield, but whatever. Until then. Alright, Jahira sent us on a mission to go kill oh, Ketherick Thorm. We have agreed with her. Might have said a few few word, rude things in that conversation, but she's still on our side. Time for one of the coolest scenes in Act 2. Actually, I wonder if I killed Marcus right now. That would probably set everybody against me, though. Marcus isn't even here. I will be heard. You guys like this scene? How many towns in the game? I don't know. What do we consider a town? Wraithwind, Blighted Village. Is the Emerald Enclave a town? District? Rivington District?
Good thing they fixed the Isabel HP problem. Yeah, for those of you guys that are not aware, when this game first came out, it was actually really hard to save Isabel right here. She would go down extremely fast in round one sometimes. And Larian kind of buffed her up a little bit and made this fight a little bit easier. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Metal Pin says, I lost Isabel to Marcus on my honor mode run. Now I'm scared. Hey, you don't got to be that scared. It just means you're probably going to have to fight Marcus in Moonrise Towers. But the main the main power thing that you want to do is make sure you save Dame Aelin. Because Dame Aelin's a huge help for the Cuthric Thorn fight. But saving or not saving Isabel doesn't really change much. Except you have to fight Marcus later on. Save you. How do you figure that? We've been waiting. Hoping against hope. For someone like you. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. It won't be enough to protect you against the areas of utter darkness, though, where the curse is strongest. This lantern should, though. Nice. Isabel is very shovable. Guy says, I lost Isabel on my previous run because the idiot ran into my moonbeam. Interesting. That's pretty funny, actually. Quite ironic, too. Isabel, devout worshiper of Saluna, the goddess of the moon, ran into a beam from the moon and then died? Huh, interesting. Thank you. I must now take my leave. Good luck. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait, what? What did I do? Oh, here we go. I was about to say, what did I do to have Marcus not show up here? There he is. Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. Those who walk a tranquil path want for nothing. Keep your blessings. You have not known tranquility until you have felt the Absolute's embrace. That, I can promise you. The absolute. Of course. You, you threw the pixie in that lantern, them, yes. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Time to go, Isabel. Okay. Here we go. Initiative order matters a lot, too. See ya, brother.
It's actually a pretty good ring. Now I have invisibility with a couple different characters. Can't equip it in combat, though. Bro is cooked. Bro, he's a goner. Got one, two, so let's do Um, where's Mole? Hold on, I forgot about Mole. Mm-hmm. Was I supposed to do something with Mole? Or is she already taken? Did I mess that quest up? We have Saris right here. I don't see Mole. Mole's gone. Oh, is it? How do you how do you say how do you save Mole? What do you got to do to do that? He's always captured. Mole gets taken. You got to be careful here that you don't kill Jahira. Or you don't let Jahira die because you can't actually resurrect Jahira back when she's not an official companion. Act three. Okay. All right. You can't save her here. All right, let's run out here. Let's see who are we gonna kill first. Mm -hmm. We're gonna help out Jahira first. Let's do guiding bolts. Can't reach. Never mind. What about a uh, fireball? Oh yeah. Wait, are these guys? They're not. Do whatever we can to help out Jahira. Oh, really? I can't make this? Wait, can I? Nope, I don't think I can. No, I can't see. I have to climb up on something. Mm -mm. Okay, you can actually do Glyph of Warding. This might actually hit my monk. I'm gonna try this real fast. I can't even get it off. It only goes off from an opponent, but the damage should still affect Karlak and Lazel, but we're gonna mess with it just to play around anyways. See if that guy comes in. Oh no, Isabel might die from it too. That's okay if she dies, I really don't care. <laughs> that was funny. Everybody took damage. I wanted to try it though. All right, here we go. This guy's the lowest HP, so let's go after him first. Yeah, I'm gonna come over here. Stun that guy. Maybe hit him again. Four HP, perfect. See ya. Now let's help out Miss Jahira down here. Isabella's dumb. <laughs> Let Isabel die. Yeah, you do get to fight the entire camp. That's an annoying fight. I don't want to do that one. It takes forever. She is almost dead. Take two. Do, do, 
I really don't feel like doing that quest, to be honest with you. Where's the hero? Here is a panther right now. That one too fast. Let's end this. Bleed for me. Good, I'm happy that I didn't waste a long rest for that fight. We can wait. Isabel, are you alright? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why target you? Pull the right brick and the whole tower goes tumbling down. Saluna gave me the power to protect this place, but I can't keep it up forever. Such magic. It's draining. Soon I'll be dry. Without me, Harper's flaming fist, everyone intent on stopping Ketherick is dead. Mm -hmm. But now that we have you, perhaps we have a chance. Once I take Ketherick's head, you'll be safe again. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this. Do 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 do. She wants the same thing we do. To save the city. But she doesn't care if the grand is real. Isabel's diary. Ever since I returned, there's been a filth in me. I feel it in my very lungs. I cannot get it out. It will never out. This death that reeks within me. There are some things even the Moon Maiden cannot heal. There are some things she would never accept than her devoted. I should never have come back. When you don't know the story, you know, it looks like that or interesting. Alright folks, I'm going to call it quits though for today. I know I usually go for four hours, but I'm going to cut it a little bit short. Got my father in town right now and some family over at my grandmother's house, so I figured I'd probably go over there. Because that comes before work and But I'm pretty happy with the progress today. Nothing too crazy combat encounter wise, but we shall continue. Hopefully next session um, on Tuesday, Tuesday night will likely be Garengoth Thorm, Malice Thorm, probably your gear, Gauntlet Ashar. Yeah, I might be able to bang out all of Act 2 next session. If I go through those uh, cutscenes pretty fast. Probably two more sessions for Act 2 though. 
And then we've returned to Act 3. Hopefully I can get that damn golden die, right? So thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for hitting that like button. All of you guys that are watching on YouTube. See a fate. I have a wonderful Sunday afternoon. And uh, this week in terms of videos, expect a Dragon's Dogma 2 deep dive. Probably going to do that. Divinity Original Sin 2 Ultimate Beginner's Guide. And then maybe a video going over Unforetold Witchstone, which is that upcoming CRPG that just entered early access that I see pretty good potential in. And we'll continue on uh, with the BG3 streams until I finish Honor Mode, and then we're going to hop around to some other games. we got Nightingale coming up in February. I can't wait. Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. I'll definitely be streaming that one. And then uh, what else? And then we're in Dragon's Dogma 2 territory when we make it into March, and I'll probably throw Baldur's Gate 3 streams in there randomly when we have some fun with mods and challenges and things like that. Yeah, Oliver. Goodbye. Oh my god, I was talking that entire time on mute. I'll tell her that you said hi, Amy's. Yeah, Oliver. Merity, have a wonderful Sunday evening. My feels is I gotta go back and finish Solasta DLC. I think we're gonna get an announcement on Tactical Adventures next game here. Some at some point this year, I think we're gonna get that announcement, which should be pretty exciting. Bye, Heather. Mitsu, Henny, DM Dragon, Alex, EP. Silence, thanks for watching. Or Slints, not Silence. Slints Store. Razgar, catch you later. Sharon, Arthur. Thanks for the stream, Wolf. Thank you.